The Lens Setting tab is used to control and configure all of the aspects that control your lens. It's broken up into a couple sections, your lens position. Clicking these arrows will shift the lens. The longer you hold them down, the faster the lens shift will move. Some other projectors might have three different arrows, so you can do slow to fast, or jump, or aggressively uh, shift that lens. You can home the lens right, by pressing the home button. This will reposition the calibrated center for that lens. And then you can calibrate the lens, which will allow the projector to find the range of zoom, focus, and shift for that lens. And if a type of lens is programmed in, for instance over here our lens type, then the projector will know to utilize or utilize the default home position for that type of lens. You can focus near and far or apply a specific value. And then you can zoom tele and wide or apply a specific zoom value. Not all projectors allow you to type in a specific value for the zoom. You really need the stepper motors on those lenses. We have 10 lens memories inside the RQ22 that can be stored. So you can save those memories and rename them. Yep, this is at a default position and I can rename this as stage one, we'll call it, or look one. You may have different looks, different positionings. You might be in a theater where the projector is focused on different set pieces depending on the show or the time of day. And then you could quickly re recall those lens memories for that specific scene. So better yet, let's rename this scene one and scene two. So these save files can be a very useful feature. Over here for a lens type, you're able to tell the projector what type of lens it has in it. This is very important for the reverse throw or extreme short throw lenses because they may have a different offset or different center position than just the basic default for most lenses. You can change the lens ID, give it a numerical value, and you can also change the lens name. I'll call it reverse throw. Active focus optimizer. I'm going to do a video on this feature specifically, but this is where you can turn on your active focus and manually set your two offsets. And you can also apply a test pattern. If you utilize the remote control with the active focus optimizer, you get a wizard that you can step through. Um, but here we're just applying the values manually. Once again, I'll do a video on this another time. So that's everything for the lens settings. Let's move on to geometry.